Now, since I have already shown the automated bank reconciliation process, today I will focus on the manual bank reconciliation part. Now, since all the entries have been imported by the bank statement itself, so I will simply go to reports, accounts, daily reports, and bank reconciliation. So over here, I do have an option of selecting my bank. I will select my bank ledger over here. I will hit search and I am good to go with my bank reconciliation bank. So by default, the pop-up screen shows the one month data. So all the entries which was imported by me belongs to the April month and July month. So I will search the data right from 1 to 2022. So all these entries are reflecting in my books of accounts, which is pending for the bank reconciliation bank. So now over here, you will be finding that my two different colors are reflecting, or probably three different colors are reflecting in my bank reconciliation part. What does it exactly mean? So these are the ones which are reflecting in the reds, and few are the ones which are reflecting in black, and few are the ones which is reflecting in blue. So the blues are the ones that you have a hyperlink link to detect the click over here, and you will be redirected to the entry screen. So at the time of bank reconciliation, if you feel the necessity to make any changes in the entry, you can simply click over there and it will redirect to you the voucher edit part and you can make all the changes as for your convenience and you can hit submit. And again, you can come back over here for your bank reconciliation part. So now what is the meaning of this red color and the black color? So it's just a kind of alert or an alarm that these kind of entries should have been reconciled or if it is not supposed to be reconciled, it is still lying open without any action of bank reconciliation in your books. If it is showing as black, that means all these entries are not above three months, but yes, these are still lying open for our bank reconciliation part. So you have multiple options over here that what are the all entries, so reconciled entries, set voucher date, export with narration, set common DRS and the advance DRS information. So we'll go one by one. So set voucher date. Now what this option allows you to do. This is set voucher date, for example. Now this asks you to please select at least one checkbox. Okay, let's go to that. We'll just go up towards over here. For example, I am selecting multiple or probably four of lines I will be selecting and I will simply click over set voucher date. What it will do, it will exactly copy the voucher date as my bank PRS date and it will update it over here. And you will just have to click on tap, tap, tap just to update the bank reconciliation over here. And my DRS is done. So you can do is do the same by clicking on the master checkbox as well. So this was one of the option. Now comes the second option, which is at set common DRS date. Again, now if I click over here, it will ask me to select at least some rows to set the voucher date. Now I will simply click over here with as. Nine four till nine four. So there are three. I mean, few transactions I have selected. Sixteen transactions which has been selected. It, it is highlighting over here. And now I will click on options and set common BRS date. That one BRS date will get updated for all the line items reflecting in your screen. So, for example, I am updating at zero nine zero four two zero two two, and I will click on set. All the PRS date has been updated. Now I just simply need to click on tab, 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 and my entries will get posted in my books. So all the PRS will get updated accordingly. So this was one options, one of the options. Now come few options like over here. If I want, okay, this is the uh, voucher date of 9-4-2022, but what if the entry or the transactions uh, in my bank statement is appearing before 9-4-2022? So let's try what happens in case if I am updating, for example, 5 4 
to do to update the BRX. It warns me that bank date must be greater or equal to voucher date. Now, why am I emphasizing on this particular part? Most of the time, what happens, we don't have the bank dated access and we are supposed to book the entries, but for example, on Saturday or Friday before the weekend starts, I missed updating few entries, which were supposed to be updated on that particular day because the entry got cleared in my bank statement on that day. Now on Monday, I don't have the bank date access and now I'm supposed to book my entries in order to update the BRS. Now I'm blocked. Now I have to book the entries on Monday itself, but my system will not allow me to update the BRS for the backdated bank date. So what, what should be our uh, plan to proceed with that? Would, will my system not at all allow me? No, the answer is no. My system will allow you. There's one, again, a parameter is reflecting over here. Now, again, we come back to our settings page and we will get to an option of allow backdate PRS. So this option will help you out with this situation that at any given point of time, even if your bank date is before voucher date, if you enable this toggle button, and then again, you come back to the bank deconciation screen, click on VRS entries, change the date as 142022. It will now only show the open line items. This was the entry what I was trying with. Now, again, I will update my voucher date as 9-4-2022. And now I will update as 05-04-2022. And I will click tab. This time, my system didn't block me to update the bank reconciliation. It simply saved the bank reconciliation successfully. So now, how to check all the entries for which I have already updated the bank reconciliation? So I have two options now. I can simply now go to show reconciled entries, all the entries for which the BRS is already passed in my books of accounts. It will reflect right over here. And we do have an option of BRS date coming up. If I click on BRS date and for a certain BRS date range, you want to search the data. If I click over here, it will get updated over here. So it completely, completely works. This, this particular option will work on the basis of this date and not on the basis of voucher date, because this is what is defining my BRS date, what bank reconciliation date you have updated by reconciling the entries. And then you do have certain options and set voucher date BRS information. Now, what is BRS information? If I click over here, so this will show you what all who created who updated the BRS, who created the BRS, then who made any edits, any changes. All these are getting tracked in my system. And we do again have the audit history over here. In case, since I have not made any changes currently of deleting or editing any transaction, I just created. So as it is, it is reflecting. For example, if I am just taking the example of this voucher number and I am deleting the BRS, it will again ask, do you want to unreconcile the entry? I will click on OK. It says says. I will go back to my voucher date. I will search over here. I will search the voucher number. This was the voucher number. This is the BRS information I need to pick on. And then I can check the edit. Who updated the, initially who updated the BRS, whether it was initially updated or not. All the history informations will be reflecting over this form. So we can see the narration part as well over here. If you want to search the narrations, now it's not dependent on this parameter. So I can simply remove this and I can simply just filter the information over here as per the narrations, which has been updated in my books of accounts. And all the filters are available randomly. And we do have the Excel download export option, both in our voucher date and the address date part. So as for your convenience, you can simply go and extract the Excel and you can reconcile or maintain a report for sharing with your uh, 
up person or the uh, this time person accordingly. So all these uh, uh, details are reflecting in case you don't have the edit ka permission, you do have the voucher view ka permission, then you will be able to access the view ka permission. What was the exact entries and what all details were reflecting in your system. All details are reflecting over here. So now coming up to the other part, for example, over here, the total count is 288. But for a few of the bank statements, we have huge and huge number counts, which will, if I run the entire date, I mean, right from 1 for 2022 to till date, if I'm running the data, it will somewhat other, it will just hang my browser if the data is huge. Now, what's the solution towards that? Again, coming back to my settings page, in my accounts general part, we do have option of load count for BRS. So in one page, in one shot, how many transactions you wish to see or view? So since I have 288, if in case I am updating it as 100, and I'll just click on tab. Again, go back to my BRS report, hit search, BRS entries. And now if I just give as 142022 and click over here, I will be getting a pagination part. So that this solution is also there that at any given point of time, if the data is huge, you can choose the load count that in one go, how many transactions you wish to see in front of your screen so that your work also doesn't get sampled and the browser also doesn't get freezed. So again, going back, if I remove the load count, I'll probably put it as 1,000. It will show me 1,000 transactions in one go. Moving on to the other feature, for example, if I am updating the entries in my books manually, since this is the bank statement import, so definitely you won't be finding any mismatches from at the time of reconciliation because exact bank statement entries are being posted in the books. But in case of receipt, since my entry is updated in all segment, I am getting few check bounces, but some boxes are reflecting over here. Now, what is the purpose of this? Now, purpose of this is, this is the entry which you updated in your books, but ideally, if this is the case of check bounce, since currently I don't have any case of check bounce, so I'm just using the UPI part over here. So one lakh amount is there and I want to post a reversal entry in my system. But at this time, I don't want to manually create the transaction. I want my system to do it for me. So I'll simply click on the bounce part. It will ask a confirmation that do you want to reconcile and mark as check bounce entry? I will click yes. So it will ask me what would be my BRS date. Would it be the same as voucher date or it will be a different date, both for my check bounce reversal entry as well as my main entry. So over here, I'll go with 9.4 itself. I will click on set. Two success messages is reflecting. That means one base receipt entry has also been reconciled as well as the reversal entry, which is being posted in my books. That is for the payment that is also legal side. So let's check what is the reversal entry that has been posted in our books. I will go to reports, accounts, daily reports, and they will. I will go for the date of creation part and I will hit search. So let's see if my transaction is defecting in my books of accounts or not. So yes, this is the entry which is being posted by my system, which says auto reversal. So the beginning of the entry itself is auto reversal. So how to identify? So this was the main narration, which is getting copied from my main transaction. The, this is the entry which was already available in my books of accounts. This is the entry which is being posted by the system at the time of auto reversal or the check box part. So if I think, let's see how does the auto reversal entry looks at the time of edit. If I click on edit, automatically the entry is reflecting and it says locked. What is the reason? The system has passed this auto reversal entry and that's the reason it's automatically locked and 
this entry has been posted at the time of PRS and so you cannot edit this transaction. So now what if you want to delete this auto reversal entry? I mean, you should have, I mean, if, if by what if by mistake this is being updated, you just simply go to your bank cancellation screen yet again, 142022, then click on search. I will go with the show reconciled entries and I will search for my auto reversal entry. I will go with narration. This is my auto reversal entry. I will hit delete. Do you want to unreconcile the entry? It says unreconcile successfully. So this is the way you can explore all the features which is depicting over here and all the transactions via BRS which has been um, imported via our system. Because previously what we used to do is we, we used to do simply go to import, export, then import. Then we used to, go, used to go to bank, then we need to select a specific bank format. So these all problems will get sorted from your one dynamic goal. You just need to simply click on the BRS and then the bank entry is posting. Select the business place, select the template which you have defined in your masters, browse it and you can upload and you are good to go with all the transactions getting posted in your books. You just need to remove the suspense ledgers from the books, which is the opposite ledger, so that it can get posted correctly in your books of accounts. So this was all about the bank reconciliation. Thank you for joining uh, once again.